Hey, hey, kids, it's your old Uncle Noli. We asked you for questions, and you guys delivered, and we sure appreciate it. So, without further ado, let's get into advice from Uncle Noli. This one comes from Cassandra Villa Senor. I know how to say that N. Dear Uncle Noli, what is your advice on pursuing your dream goals even when you feel like you won't be able to accomplish them? Cassandra, you keep going. You can accomplish those goals. You can do anything you want, anything you put your mind to. And if you don't try, you failed before you even, you know, took a chance. Take chances out there. That's what life is all about. The good, the bad, the ugly. It's not just a Clint Eastwood film that everyone should watch. If you haven't, you're dead to me. Uncle Noli no. And to our next question. This one comes from Melissa Barrett, who writes, Uncle Noli, what is the best way to get rid of toxic people in your life? A shovel and a friend who can keep his mouth shut. Uncle Noli knows. Next, Uncle Noli, do you have any advice to make the perfect pancakes? Hey, do I look like the kind of guy who makes friggin' pancakes? I mean, I'm a busy... Okay, here's what you want to do. You want to use buttermilk. Don't ask me why, but that's the right thing to do. You want to get a pan, you want to use butter, none of that oil shit, because it's going to give you a nice crusty outside and a fluffy inside. Don't heat the pan too hot. You gotta get it to medium high. If you get an actual gas stove where you can see the flame, that's better. That electric shit with the coils? No, I burned myself one time and punched a hole in a cabinet. Not a good idea. Perfect pancakes also require just a dash of cinnamon and vanilla extract. All right? Don't eat too many, though. Make you sick. There you go. Uncle Nole knows. Next up. This one is from somebody called Cronuts. Uncle Noli, when a man and a Wookiee make love, is Troy the result of that love, or is it Drew? Cronuts, it's a movie. Wookiees aren't real, all right? Sasquatch, on the other hand, is a real deal. Have you seen that? Have you seen Search at Finding Bigfoot? It's a real thing. It's a real thing. And Yetis, too. They're like snow Sasquatch. It's weird. You gotta look out for those things. Now, if a Wookiee were a real thing, and it made love, yeah, it'd be Drew. We have to shave him down every day. I kinda enjoy it now. He's a good egg. Bang. Uncle Noli knows. Our next question comes from Liam Churchill. Uncle Noli, what is the best thing to do when stranded on a goat farm? Here's the deal. First of all, you wanna avoid a goat farm at all costs. If you're stranded on one, after a while, you're gonna start doing something that you're not gonna be proud of. And you're gonna end up killing that goat. And then about two weeks later, you're gonna Get so upset about what you're doing, you're gonna bury that goat. Of course, two weeks later after that, you're gonna be so upset with what you're doing, you'll dig it back up again. Stay off the goat farm. Just avoid goats. Their eyes are like devils. They're weird. Some people eat that shit, not me. They eat garbage. They are garbage. Goats. Uncle Nole knows. And our next question, Steve Smith writes, Uncle Noli, is it better to help a friend get their hands dirty or to just help hide the bodies? <laughs> You're gonna get your hands filthy hiding the bodies. One in the same, my friend. All right? <laughs> Keep your mouth shut. Uncle Nole knows. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thank you for joining me, Uncle Noli, and don't forget to write into Retro Replay Show and send me more questions, and I'll give you the best possible advice that I can think of right here in the moment. God bless. Godspeed.